So this question looks like a translate word problem question. So I categorize it as a translate word problem question because it is more than four lines long. So whenever I see that on the SAT, what I do is I wanna read a sentence at a time and then translate, or at least make sure I fully understand what I've read before moving on. So the first sentence says, in the 1884 US presidential election, candidates James Blaine and Grover Cleveland received a total of 401 electoral college votes. Okay, so that makes sense to me. The next sentence says, the number of electoral college votes Blaine received, B, was 37 fewer than the number of electoral college votes Cleveland received, C. So I can translate that. That means B was equal to 37 fewer than C, which means B is equal to C minus 37. And while we're at it, since Blaine represents, or since B is represented by Blaine and C for Cleveland, our first sentence told us that the combination of electoral votes between the two of them was 401, which means B plus C is equal to 401. So the next sentence says, which system of equations represents this situation? Well, in essence, I've already found my answer because I translated the meaning of the first two sentences, right? So this was a translation of the first sentence. This equation here is a translation of the second sentence. So when I look at my answer choices, I see answer choice A says B plus C equals 438. Well, that's not true. Choice B says that B plus C equals 438. That's also not true. Choice C says B plus C equals 401. So that checks with what I have here. And then the second part of that also says that B equals C minus 37, which also checks with what I have here. So choice C is therefore the correct answer.